China is in the process of rapid population aging. Now the elderly population has already uh, exceeded uh, 200 million, and the number of the elderly population will continue to increase in the next uh, 30 or 40 years because the larger among a larger cohort of the baby boomer gradually into the retirement ages. Such a kind of the demographic transition uh, has uh, created really big challenges to China's public health systems. Because people usually at the old ages, they will consume much more uh, health resources compared to the younger, uh, younger populations. So in that case, so now in the past, we, the Chinese health reforms much more focused on the health system itself. But to cope with this kind of the rapid popular aging, so we may need some much more uh, innovative approaches to make Chinese people much healthier in the future. So in that case, and uh, we already know that uh, the, our longevity and the health situation at the old ages are partially determined by our genes. So we thanks to our parents to give us what we will be when we are old. But we also know that the uh, much more important is our lifestyle. So in that case, we can say either people smoke or people have imbalanced the food or people have exercise or not. So this all will affect our uh, health situation, especially when you become older. So in that case, so my idea is that we rather focus on the, the uh, medical treatment or operation. We may uh, focus on the much more on the prevention of the uh, non-communable uh, uh, diseases. And also we need to promote of these um, uh, health uh, lifestyles including the uh, physical exercises and also including uh, these kind of changes uh, of our lifestyles. When we talk about the uh, promotion of the uh, public uh, the healthy lifestyles, in China, we actually we can take uh, uh, advantages of our traditional local knowledge, traditional Chinese medicine, and the traditional Chinese philosophy. <laughs> Over the thousand years, Chinese developed a series of these kind of the ways to develop, to make the person uh, li uh, live longer and become healthy. So this kind of like the Tai Chi, like um, uh, uh, meditation, like the public involvement of the social and uh, this kind of emotional, physical uh, activities. So, and also with the demographic changes, when China is become aging, now our family becomes smaller and smaller. With this kind of various, uh, family, the capacity for family to support their elderly is reducing. But this does, does not mean the family cannot uh, further continue to provide the long-term care for their elderly. So at this moment in China, the family members are still the main, uh, uh, main the resources for the old age support long-term care. So in that case, now we may not need to invest in the public health systems, but we need a very proper family policies to enable our families to have the, to increase their capacity to look after their elderly. And also we need some kind of community development. We need the volunteer development. We need to develop integrated systems to provide long-term care, rather than only focus on the hospitalized or nursing homes to provide the service. In the ICT development uh, area, so now the uh, ICT development also can help us to provide a better healthcare system to the elderly. And when the elderly are connected with these kind of the ICT technologies, either through the iPhone, through the iPad, or through all the other facilities, this can help them make our uh, older generation much easier to get access to the healthcare systems, to get uh, to easier to change their lifestyles, to remain the independent, uh, to reduce their uh, the dependence on the, the long-term care or on these kind of systems. On the whole, in conclusion, I would like to say, when we focus on the uh, development of our medical uh, our hospitals, on the development of our the, uh, uh, education systems for the doctors, we also we need to think about 
what we need to develop our proper social policies to enhance our societal capacity to coping with the aging society, to reduce the cost of the public health system, to make Chinese, both the elderly and the younger generation, are much healthy. In that way, we can cope with our these kind of aging challenges to Chinese society. And also, this will reduce the burden of, uh, for the younger generation and can make our elderly live in China much healthy or even live much longer. So in that case, my question will be how the proper social policy and the public programs can help the public health system more efficient and make the, uh, this public health to the more easily accessible and more efficient and more equal to the general public. So thank you very much.